Imagine waking up to the ground shaking beneath you, your home rattling, and the fear of not knowing if this is just the beginning or the calm before the storm. Over the past 72 hours, three earthquakes have struck the San Francisco Bay Area, all centered around the infamous San Andreas Fault. Is this just the Earth's natural rhythm? Or are we standing on the brink of something far more catastrophic? What's triggering these quakes? And could this be a warning sign of the big one scientists have been predicting for decades? Stay with us, because what you're about to discover could change the way you see the ground beneath your feet forever. The San Francisco Bay Area was jolted awake this week as three earthquakes, ranging from magnitude 3.7 to 4.5, struck within just 72 hours. The first quake hit near Pleasant Hill, shaking homes and rattling nerves. Residents described the experience as a sudden, violent jolt that lasted for several seconds, leaving many wondering if this was just a minor tremor or the start of something far more dangerous. The quakes were shallow, occurring at depths of just seven miles, making the shaking feel even more intense for those on the surface. But what's truly alarming is the location. All three quakes occurred along the San Andreas Fault, the same fault responsible for the devastating 1906 San Francisco earthquake that killed over 3,000 people and reduced the city to rubble scientists are now asking, is this fault waking up again? Could these quakes be a precursor to a much larger, more destructive event? The answers lie deep within the Earth's crust, and what we're seeing now might just be the tip of the iceberg. The San Andreas Fault is one of the most dangerous fault lines in the world, stretching over 800 miles through California. It's where the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate grind against each other, building up immense pressure over time. When that pressure is released, it can trigger earthquakes of catastrophic proportions. The last major rupture on this fault was in 1906, when a magnitude 7.9 quake devastated San Francisco. Since then, the fault has been relatively quiet, but scientists warn that it's not a matter of if it will rupture again, but when. What makes this fault so dangerous is its ability to produce massive earthquakes that can cause widespread destruction. The current swarm of quakes near Pleasant Hill is a stark reminder that the San Andreas Fault is far from dormant. Could these smaller quakes be the fault's way of releasing built-up stress? Or are they a warning sign that something much bigger is on the horizon? The truth is, no one knows for sure, but the possibility is enough to send chills down your spine. Earthquake swarms, like the one we're seeing now, are not uncommon in California. These swarms are characterized by a series of quakes that occur in a short period of time, often in the same area. While they can be unsettling, they don't always indicate that a larger quake is coming. However, when these swarms occur along a major fault line like the San Andreas, scientists take notice. The current swarm is particularly concerning because of its proximity to the fault's surface and the frequency of the quakes. One theory is that these quakes are caused by fluid migration deep within the Earth. As water or gas moves through cracks in the crust, it can increase pressure on existing faults, causing them to slip. Another possibility is that the quakes are the result of stress redistribution along the fault line, as the tectonic plates continue to grind against each other. Whatever the cause, one thing is clear. The San Andreas Fault is under immense pressure, and the question is not if it will release that pressure, but when and how. The 1906 San Francisco earthquake was one of the deadliest natural disasters in U.S. history. The magnitude 7.9 quake struck at 5.12 a.m. on April 18, 1906, and lasted for nearly 60 seconds. The shaking was so intense that it caused buildings to collapse, streets to buckle, and fires to break out across the city. By the time the dust settled, over 3,000 people had lost their lives, and much of San Francisco lay in ruins. The 1906 quake was a wake-up call for scientists who began to study the San Andreas Fault in earnest. What they discovered was both fascinating and terrifying. The fault had ruptured for nearly 300 miles, 
with the ground shifting by as much as 20 feet in some places. This event laid the groundwork for our modern understanding of earthquakes, but it also served as a grim reminder of the power of the San Andreas Fault. Could the current swarm of quakes be a sign that history is about to repeat itself? Only time will tell. For decades, scientists have warned of the big one, a hypothetical earthquake of magnitude 7.8 or higher that could strike along the San Andreas Fault. Such an event would be catastrophic, causing widespread destruction, loss of life, and economic devastation. The current swarm of quakes near Pleasant Hill is a stark reminder that the San Andreas Fault is capable of producing such an event, and that we are long overdue for a major rupture. The big one could strike at any moment, and when it does, it will be unlike anything we've ever experienced. The shaking could last for several minutes, causing buildings to collapse, bridges to fail, and fires to break out across the region. The economic impact could be in the hundreds of billions of dollars, and the loss of life could be staggering. The question is not if the big one will happen, but when. And when it does, will we be ready? The earthquakes in California are just one piece of a larger puzzle. Around the world, seismic activity has been on the rise, with quakes striking in places like New Zealand, Indonesia, and Alaska. These quakes are a reminder that the Earth's tectonic plates are constantly moving, and that no part of the world is immune to the threat of earthquakes. In recent weeks, a magnitude 5.0 quake struck near the Kermadec Trench in New Zealand, while a magnitude 4.9 quake hit off the coast of Sumatra. These quakes are a reminder that the Earth's tectonic plates are constantly shifting and that the effects of these shifts can be felt thousands of miles away. Could the quakes in California be connected to these global events? Scientists are still trying to answer that question, but one thing is clear. The Earth is a dynamic and ever-changing planet, and we are just along for the ride. While we can't predict when the next big earthquake will strike, we can take steps to prepare. Emergency kits, evacuation plans, and earthquake-resistant construction are all essential tools in the fight against seismic disasters. But preparation goes beyond just having the right supplies. It's also about understanding the risks and knowing what to do when the ground starts to shake. In California, earthquake preparedness is a way of life. From school drills to community outreach programs, residents are constantly reminded of the importance of being ready for the next big quake. But as the current swarm of quakes shows, the threat is real and the time to prepare is now. Don't wait until it's too late. Take action today to protect yourself, your family, and your community. For many residents of the San Francisco Bay Area, the recent quakes have been a source of anxiety and fear. The ground beneath their feet is no longer stable and the threat of a larger quake looms large. For some, the fear is so intense that it's hard to sleep at night, while others are constantly on edge, waiting for the next tremor to hit. The emotional toll of living in an earthquake-prone area is often overlooked, but it's a very real part of life for millions of people. The constant fear of the unknown, the uncertainty of what the future holds, and the trauma of past quakes can all take a toll on mental health. As we continue to monitor the situation, it's important to remember that the people affected by these quakes are more than just statistics. They're real people with real fears, and they deserve our support and understanding. As scientists continue to monitor the San Andreas Fault, one thing is clear. The future is uncertain. The current swarm of quakes could be a sign of things to come, or it could just be a temporary blip in the Earth's seismic activity. Either way, the threat of a major earthquake is always present, and we must remain vigilant. In the coming weeks and months, scientists will be closely watching the fault for any signs of increased activity. They'll be analyzing data, running simulations, and working to better understand the forces at play. But while science can give us clues, it can't predict the future. The only thing we can do is be prepared, stay informed, and hope for the best. As we wrap up this video, 
we want to leave you with one final thought. The ground beneath your feet is not as stable as it seems. The recent quakes in the San Francisco Bay Area are a reminder that we live on a dynamic and ever-changing planet and that the threat of earthquakes is always present. But with preparation, awareness, and a little bit of luck, we can weather any storm. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on seismic activity, natural disasters, and the science behind them. Together, we can stay informed, stay prepared, and stay safe. Thank you for watching, and remember, the next big quake could strike at any moment. Will you be ready?